Hi everyone and welcome to the present Hi everyone and welcome to the presentation on how to use your new group email list that the last video taught you how to build in Gmail. So this is assuming that you simply want to forward the newsletters that you receive from us onto your patient and clients. You start by logging into your Gmail account, go to your inbox, click on the newsletter that you want to forward. Now it's going to ask you, do you want to view only the web page content that was delivered securely? In this instance you want to say no. If you say yes, you're not going to be able to load the images. So we'll say no and there the images load. You might get another message that asks if you want the images displayed and yes you want to check that you want the images displayed. Once you have the email open you come over to the right and you have an option to forward the email. So we're going to take forward and there's a few things that we need to do now. The first thing is we have to say who it's going to. You do not want to type in your new group name into the to because that's going to violate privacy in HIPAA. So you want to always choose the add BCC field and that is where we're going to add our group list. And so just put your cursor in the box and start to type the name of your new group you created. You can choose it off the list and it will automatically populate into the BCC field. Drop down into the subject line and take out the forward. Drop down into the body and delete message that automatically populates whenever you forward a message. Now you can simply add in your own greeting. So hello everyone. Maybe you have a special sale. Special sale this month on supplements. 25% off through the end of June. You can also come in and customize the announcement. So there's an announcement section. Just clean up anything you don't want there. There's an announcement section here in the newsletter. Right here. It's built into every one. By default there's health tips listed there. So you don't have to come in here and do anything. If you don't there'll be health tips like um, different there's all different things, right? Eating clean, breathing clean, these plants make great air cleaners, etc. They're short and sweet, wonderful little health tips. But you can also use this section to put in your own announcements. So something like raw food workshop, June 10th, RSVP, 813-442-4300. And whatever other announcements you might have, then you want to scroll down to the end of the message before you hit send to where you see this unsubscribe information down here at the bottom. So you want to delete out this information because that would unsubscribe excuse me, that would unsubscribe them from the medicine talk list, which they're not subscribed to. And instead you want to put something like to unsubscribe please reply with unsubscribe in the subject line. And then when they do that you need to go to the group and you need to remove them from your group mail list right away. Anything else you want to put in here is great. Uh, it's up to you. It's very difficult to change out any of the headers or anything when you're doing it this way. You can easily do that if you're using a mail service like Constant Contact or Eye Contact. But we've made the header very generic, strictly, you know, for those people who do want to email it out. Then you simply go up and you hit send. And I'll give you a quick glimpse at what it looks like when it comes in. It should come in pretty quickly. There it is in our inbox. I open it up and you can see that it has all of the changes that you made right in there. It's got all the images, it's got your announcements, there's the phone number, and then at the bottom it's got your to unsubscribe information so people are able to unsubscribe from the email. And that's how you forward out the newsletter with some minimal customization of your own clinic and your own information. Thanks, and join us for our next video. Thanks, bye.